Here we have it tied to a standard Jansport backpack and the sternum strap stays in place until we pull our buckle free. Here's the cord we're working with and the pull is going to be made from a similar braid. I'm pulling out one arm's length of cord. Now this knot is based off the bowline, which I would turn in a loop, then go up through the back, around the tree, and then back down again. But if we simply use that basic bowline, it's going to slip on us. So let's give ourselves plenty of room, about half an arm's length. And now I'm going to pull in my loop. I'm going to uh, overlay another loop. This is so that our bowline is reinforced. Now I'll take my free end. I'll go from the back. We want to make sure that our cord is sitting nice and flat. There we go. I'll go back up again. Okay. Now I'll take my free end. I'm going to wrap it around a complete turn. There we go. Before going back through the rabbit hole there. And when I pull this, I want my free end to be longer than the loops that I pulled in. And these loops are the ones that are going to go around the strap, so we just want to make them just longer than the strap is wide. Alright, I'm getting closer. I just need to dress up my knot here and pull all the slack out. Now we'll cut a small section off to create our pull. I don't know, about 12 inches. Right at the center point between the ends of the loops is where I want a figure eight knot. So I'll create a bite, I'll wrap completely around, and then I'll bring my free end back through this window here. There we go. And within this figure eight knot, I'm going to thread a piece of the pole through the top and bottom. And to finish the pull, I'll simply use an overhand knot using both strands. To make sure we can pull this apart smoothly, we don't want any burrs or protrusions on this end. I'll take a scrap that I just cut, and I'm going to tie a barrel knot. I'll just use my finger, I'll go around once, twice, and then I'll poke this free end through. Now we have a little window there. Now I'll take this and I'll place it through and tighten it up. Let's fuse our end here. And before it solidifies, we're gonna pull our knot off. There we go. Now this isn't gonna have any obstructions so that we can pull it free. Now under our backpack, we want our loops to go over our strap. And then on the left side, we're going to tie in a cow hitch eventually. So we want to have enough rope or cord to evenly space our shoulders, but also to be able to pull in a cow hitch on this side. And so I'll just give myself a little bit of room. There we go. We can always adjust the length once we're done. We want to make sure our plating is nice and flat. What's going to end up happening is we're going to take our Marlin spike open up this portion of our bowline, and then run our end through and fuse it. So here I've opened up the back of the bowline, give myself enough room to place our end back through. There we go. And then we'll tighten it all back up again. Now this end we want to create a very big bead so it doesn't slip out from the bowline. And I'm just going to use my torch at a 45 degree angle and I'll rotate the cord until I get the size bead I want. Alright, that looks pretty good. It's not going to slip out. Here's our tire setup and now I'll pull our free end back. And you can see it's not going to slip out from our bowline. line. And to install it, we'll just create our cow hitch right above the buckle and pull the whole thing through. To set this up, we'll take our front loop and run it through our back loop. And then we'll take our little toggle here and run it through that window. Now when this is placed flat against the strap, it is extremely stable. Even if it comes loose, it stays stable. You can even snap the rope. I have a video on that if you want to check that out. And when it's time to come undone, just pull it free. 
Of course you have this dangling down. You could always take this and separate it through the middle and split the distance between the two straps. But here I'll set it up. I'll just place a loop in back, place my front loop through the rear, and then here's my toggle. I'll run it through that little window we created, and here we go. We're good to go until I want to pull it free. If you'd like to support my channel, you can pick up one of these Marlin Spikes. I designed it myself, and I carry them at awesomeforsale.com or Amazon. Thanks.